Tractor manufacturers have spent the past few years seeing who can build the biggest four-cylinder tractor and now you can get one with as much as 160 horsepower under the bonnet. Obviously there's been a few question marks about whether a four-cylinder can really do the job of a six-pot. So to find out we've got Massey's 6616 and we're putting it against New Holland's T7. Both about the same rated horsepower, 160. So let's find out how they do. Now you won't see many of these around and no, it's not a Dan's wallet, it's one of Amazon's new K-Ron 200 ploughs and this is what we're using to test the tractors out today. Now they've got plenty of metal on them so they should provide a pretty stiff test for our tractors. We're hoping to get them out to about 18 inch furrow widths and uh, get down about 8 inches so it should be a good test. power control forward reverse shuttle lever uh, as well as doing forward and reverse shifts on the shuttle it also doubles up as a gear shifter so once you're in forward you can notch up the gears and then down the gears and then the same when you're in reverse you can go up the gears by pulling backwards in the direction of travel and going down the gears by pushing against the, gear, the direction of travel on this particular model we've got this um, multi-function joystick which is an optional extra but it puts everything that you need in one handy little place. So we've got buttons for lift and drop, the rear linkage, we've got an engine speed memory, PTO and a spool uh, valve on there as well, as well as these preset uh, transmission cruise speeds. You can also put your forward reverse shuttle on this little clicker here, just dip the clutch and press that button, send you off and forwards and then you just click it again to go backwards in reverse. So what don't we like? Well first of all the pedals are far too close together. You've got the clutch pedal here and the brake pedal and if you're not careful what you're doing you could easily stand on the wrong one. These switches for the rear linkage as well. I don't know what's wrong with the rocker switch. Here you've got a separate button to put it in the neutral position and you have to press that twice to unlock it every time you switch the engine on which is a bit of a faff. Generally the cab's a pretty nice place to be and if I had to pick one to spend the day with it would have to be the Massey rather than the New Holland. Now it's fair to say the Italians haven't quite mastered the art of interior design. It's all a bit bland and far more spartan than the Massey. But that's no bad thing if you want a simple tractor. Things are pretty run of the mill down the right hand console. The only little extra is this electric spool for the mid mounts. The big downside is the armrest. Unless you've got real stumpy little arms, you can't shift it forward far enough to be comfortable. New Holland's other big boo-boo was the spool block. Now they put it weirdly around the right hand side of the tractor so you go all, all the way around the plough if you want to fiddle with your pipes. The bottom two blocks also run right tight against the lift rods so you take the skin off your knuckles every time you yank them out. Ouch. Now from a driver's perspective there's really not much to know in the cab that you wanted. You've got your diff block and four wheel drive down the bank of switches on the right and um, transmission information is shown on this pretty old school LCD screen. One of the few things that you can set in this tractor is the auto mode. If you're in the field, it runs in the range B, which is effectively six speeds, and you can adjust how many of those it allows itself to jump through. Now, what it really comes down to is how this six cylinder compares against the red four pot, and uh, it wins hands down. It's a good match for the plough. It's got no problems even when the going gets tough, whereas the red one starts scrabbling. Look at these two tractors on paper and you'd struggle to get two more evenly matched machines. Rated max power, about 160 horsepower. With boost, they're both about 185 horsepower and even the torque is the same. But the blue one is a bit more equal than the red one. While the New Holland's there, sort of basically ticking over with its six cylinders on the plow, we're having to rev the Massey really hard to get the same sort of output. And it's fine when we're on easy going, I'm managing to keep up, but as soon as we hit the stiff stuff, I'm bogging down and struggling to get the same amount of power. The little Massey's also struggling a bit for grip. Yes, we could do with a bit more weight on the front, but it just doesn't have the bike that the New Holland seems to have. 
So what's the verdict? Well first up it's fair to say we're surprised about these two tractors because not only have they got very similar horsepowers but the transmission and the wheelbase is almost the same. The only downside is that you lose about a metre off the turning circle. So which one do you go for? Well, as a general mixed farming tractor, the Massey is a class act. And if you've got the budget, it's a great machine to drive. But if you've got a lot of heavy tillage in mind, then those extra two cylinders really make a difference.